is abundantly clear. And that is that Tracy is always genuine and herself. And Tracy's genuine self is being a very extroverted weirdo. I have so many memories of this from growing up, uh, from her taking blue thread, wrapping it around her knuckles, naming herself Blue Knuckles, and talking in an Arnold Schwarzenegger accent, to her pretending that a sock was alive and then proceeding to wrestle it to the ground. <laughs> I remember when we were both in college, I came up here to visit her when she was a counselor. And we were in this big ring of people, and I look up, and on the far end, Tracy is there entertaining everyone by flailing her limbs about in a, in a dance she likes to call the Jello. <laughs> when a counselor next to me leaned over to me and asked me good naturedly if I ever get embarrassed of Tracy in public. <laughs> And I actually laughed in the girl's face and said, if I ever did, Tracy would have beaten that out of me long ago. I mean, this is a girl that when we used to go grocery shopping together, she would drag one leg behind her pretending it was broken. And she used to contort her face hideously and then ask me if I still love her. So no, if you get embarrassed easily, you could not be friends with Tracy, but that is one of the things that makes her so amazing. On a more serious note, another aspect of Tracy that makes me love her so much is how fiercely loyal she is to her friends and family. Uh, for example, let's say you got home from an awful day of work and just a coworker just made you so mad. Well, you begin to tell Tracy how angry you are and she gets so mad at that person for you that you start to console her about it. <laughs> uh, I remember when I was 16 and had been driving for just two weeks, I got pulled over by a cop. Tracy and I were driving around. And as I was talking to the cop, naturally I began to tear up a little bit. Well, I look over at Tracy and she is full on crying, <laughs> sobbing in the seat next to me. And then she begins to tell the cop what a sweet and kind girl I am. And needless to say, I did not get a ticket that night. Uh, so today I saw my uh, best friend get married. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, she's the one I... laughed with, was weird with, and on occasion annoyed with. <laughs> um, she's beautiful, intelligent, generous and loyal. But you know what? She's also the girl who used to cook horribly and almost never shave her legs. <laughs> uh, so I wondered to myself, what kind of guy belongs with this girl? <laughs> and then I met Nick. Oh, yep. Yep. I remember uh, the morning after Tracy met Nick, her coming up to me and telling me about this amazing guy she met who danced hideously and didn't care, who was hilarious and fun, and who happened to mention on the very first night that they met that he didn't care if a woman shaved her legs or not. <laughs> and it's about this time that alarm bells started going off in my head. And so here we are today. Uh, Nick, I am so happy to be able to call you my brother. And you got one hell of a lady. So will everyone join me in raising a glass to the happy couple? To Nick and Tracy. Hey. Hey. Hey.